it's FCA. I'm going to be doing a little haul video. That's what a whole bunch of this stuff is in front of me. So I'm just going to go through and push this bag out of the way and start telling you about it. All right, so this is the first thing I'm gonna show you and this is my new makeup remover. I, uh, it's from Equate, which I love Equate because all of the ingredients from everything they make is identical to everything else. And I'm pretty sure that it's the same brand, just using another name to attract all the co possible customers. Um, this is a two-phase oil-free liquid that activates when shaken to remove even waterproof makeup, which is handy for me since that's what I tend to wear, especially in the mascara area. And that's what I care about getting on, staying on, and coming off with relative ease. I cry very easily, I tear up really easily, so having waterproof mascara is very important to me. And this is the Maybelline The Rocket in very black. Well loved, well known. I also have this notebook. Um, it's just a little one, just used for when I need to make notes. Um, I mostly plan on using this as a dream and um, random thoughts kind of notebook. I'm really been getting into little notebooks. They're just handy, they're light, and just, just something I want in my life. I also have um, this. This is the L'Oreal 48 Hour Broad Spectrum. Uh, this is what it looks like outside of the box. This is my old one, but I'm running out. I only have a few more uses. But it's 48 hour hydration with, S with Broad Spectrum SPF in 25. And I just really like it. It's a really good, thick, um, good for the um, winter time. I'm sorry, I say I'm a lot and like. My apologies in advance. But really good for that. What also is really good is this. This is the L'Oreal Revital Lift. I enjoy this very, very much. Uh, it's the night cream. I currently don't have a safe enough income to get a separate eye cream, but with this, I don't feel like I need one. It's thick enough and it has that rejuvenation process, which is really great for under the eyes. Then I have, I got two of these. This is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful, which is my favorite face makeup, um, not face makeup, face mask brand to use and this is one of their paper masks in rose and this is the brightening one and it has a slightly warming sensation and I really like how it feels after my skin uh, how my skin feels after I use it so I have two of those and then this is new I love these little pouches you can get two to four uses out of them depending on you know how long or big your face is um, and how you use facial masks. Sometimes people only do their cheeks or something. Uh, but this is the facial revealing peel off mask. So it's not a clay mask. It goes on like a gel. And then when it dries, you just take it off. And this is in, in the pomegranate. And I decided to just try it out, see if I like it. They're good for seeing if your skin reacts, these little satchels these are good for just testing it out seeing if you like it seeing if your skin reacts positively to it and you get enough in there you know two to four uses is enough for a face mask or um a peel to know if it's good for you if it does what you want it to do um and that your skin reacts positively to it so i like those along with face stuff gotta be careful with a couple of these I got more Mario Badescu, the acne kit, which comes with the drying cream. And the drying cream is a, actually a lot. This doesn't look like that big of a tub, but there's you only need a little bit on the affected areas. And it can work as a concealer. It's a nice thick cream uh, that dries and heals your acne in a safe way. I have to be careful with this one because you're not allowed to mix this because mine fell and got mixed up and that sort of ruined it. I was at the tail end of it anyways, but still you don't want anything bad happening to products. Um, but this is the drying lotion, which is good for, you put it on with a Q-tip, you just dip it in to the jar, dab it on wherever you need it, and then 
you're good to go. You leave it on overnight and it helps take care of, it does intense healing and it's great for those very painful cystic um, acne spots. And then this is the buffering lotion, which you're supposed to mix up and you put it on after you wash your face and it acts sort of like a toner and it has a, it feels, it has a sensation over the affected areas, not on the rest of your skin, that's semi astringent, but it's very powerful and it does a great job of zapping things. And then to help with light scarring and oil control, and of course healing, as the name would suggest, this is the Mario Badescu Special Healing Powder. This did not come with the acne kit. I bought it separate. Um, but it's nice. It's slightly yellow. It sort of looks like an ester kind of color. And you just put it on all over your skin. You use it sparingly. Um, so I use it once a day, usually at night, just to take care of the areas I want taken care of. And, ah, here they are. I was like, I knew I got something else. These are stars. Um, they're little foam stars, so they're squishy. And they're little stickers. I actually wanted the metallic ones, uh, those little tiny metallic multicolored stars, but they seem to have fallen off of the face of production. So, all right. <laughs> So I got these little foam stars instead to help me with my New Year's quests and resolutions. Um, they help me keep track of days that I work out, that I don't, that I go the whole day not biting my nails. And you know, after I have so many stars in a row, I get a reward. And that really helps with goal achievement and getting yourself into good habits and activating your reward system in a proper way. So that is my February haul. Like I said, not, not too much, just a few things, mostly stuff that I was renewing and just getting new ones of. And that's it. I hope that your February and your previous Valentine's Day were good and great. Um, things will get better if they're not going too well. Don't get yourself stuck in a hole. You don't need that. And I will be back with another video. I plan on my next video to be a makeup tutorial if you're interested in that. And my last video was celebrating the real new year, the Chinese new year, and um, the preceding days before that. So happy February, everybody. And I will see you next week or possibly later this week. Who knows? Bye, humans.